Welcome to Civilistan, your self preparation guide for UPSC. In this video, we will see the recent amendments in the Motor Vehicles Act 2019 and its pros and cons and how it would have an effect in the system. The Motor Vehicle Bill has been implemented throughout the country since the September 1, 2019, which is yesterday, and according to the 2018 report of WHO, the highest number of road accidents occurs in India alone and it, the number is around 5 lakh accidents and almost 1.5 lakh deaths happen every single year and uh, there, was an, there was an attempt made in 2017 itself to have a new motor vehicle amendment bill but this was a not successful thing and it got dropped off in the Rajya Sabha. So this year it was passed in July and it came to effect by September 1. In order to prevent the menace of road accidents, the central government has amended the Vehicle Act of 1988. So see, we have already passed 30 years, three decades old motor vehicle bill has been replaced. It is not completely replaced, only certain sections are amended. Let us see the new features that comes along with this amendment. The compensation for the road accident victims. There is and there is always a compensation for the road accident victims and with this amendment the amount of compensation has gone up in case of death earlier it was 25000 rupees to the victim and now it is 2 lakh rupees to the family of the victims and in case of previous injuries the compensation amount is increased to 50000 rupees from 12500 and this is a much needed one which is introduced this time that is the recall of vehicles. The bill allows the central government to order for recall of defected motor vehicles which may harm the environment or driver or other road users. Th there was no such provision earlier and right now this is a much needed one in order to implement stricter norms and bring all the companies under the hold. And the third one is road safety board. The National Road Safety Board will be created by the central government to advise the center and state governments on all aspects of road safety and traffic management. This is a new initiative and this board consists of people from this board may consist of people from both state and center and it will create the policies for the road traffic management in the whole country. And there is a huge increase in the fines and let's see what are the new fines Earlier there was no such provision and this is a new one, offences by juveniles. Earlier there were no fines or any punishment to the juveniles and right now if a juvenile is found to drive any vehicle without a license, that juvenile will be punished with a 25,000 rupees penalty and may get 3 years of imprisonment and the vehicle which the juvenile was driving, its registration will be cancelled. Earlier there was no such provision at all and for drunken driving the penalty went up from 2000 rupees to 10000 rupees right now and not providing way to emergency vehicle this was also not there in the earlier one right now if someone is blocking the way of an emergency vehicle be it an ambulance or a fire service you will be charged 10000 rupees as fine and driving despite disqualification that is if your driving license is disqualified for some case and if you are driving in spite of that you will be charged 10,000 rupees as fine earlier it was 500 rupees and driving without the license in hand earlier it was 500 rupees fine and right now you have to pay 5,000 rupees which is 10 times and dangerous driving you have to pay 5,000 rupees for driving dangerously in the roads and earlier it was 1,000 rupees for the same thing and for racing in the roads it is 5,000 rupees fine earlier it was 500 rupees Driving without insurance is 2000 rupees spot fine. Earlier it was 1000 rupees. And overloading of two wheelers, that is more than two persons, you have to pay 2000 rupees as fine and your license will be disqualified for three months. Earlier it was just 100 rupees. And over speeding more than the limit, that is more than the permit set, permitted limit, it is 1000 rupees for a light motor vehicle and 2000 rupees for a medium passenger vehicle. Earlier the fine for over speeding was just 400 rupees and overloading of cars of light motor vehicles there was no such provision earlier right now if a car with a capacity of five people is carrying more than five people it will also be charged thousand rupees as fine 
and not wearing seat belt you will be getting 1000 rupees as fine and no helmet you will be getting 1000 rupees as fine and your license will be disqualified for 3 months and here comes there was a debate that there is no definition for taxi aggregators in our motor vehicle act and here they brought what defines a track, uh, taxi aggregators tap the bill defines aggregators as digital intermediaries or marketplaces which can be used by passengers to connect with the driver for transportation purpose and right now ola uber all those things comes under this earlier there was no such provision at all and they were treated as some digital companies and right now they are brought into motor vehicles act and these aggregators will be issued license by the state each state can issue the license separately and ola should get the license for every single state it is operating in and they also should comply with the it act this is the another provision and do comment your views on the new amendments and their significance in the indian scenario what is your view point about this amendments and how do you feel whether it will change the scene in the indian roads or whether it will be the same as usual and all the best and prepare well guys and meet you in the next video until then do share this video and subscribe and like it if you find this useful and spread the word comment what you require from us more so that will help us to make more videos and meet you in another video until then signing off thank you